Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bogey King. Glad you're here today. Today I've got another exciting product review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Omada Golf Tri Light Golf Push Cart. Now, the folks at Omada Golf reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing this product. They did provide it free of charge, but in return for my honest opinion. Now, if you've seen one of my previous videos where I reviewed the Caddy Clean, that is actually an Amata Golf product. Now, when I bought their product, they bought it on Amazon. I had never heard of the company before, and I did share a little bit of the story that was on the back of the packaging for the Caddy Clean. But at the end of the day, I was super impressed with that product. I still use it every round. It's on my golf bag, and it's just a great product. And it turns out it was developed by a group of friends who had a passion for golf and a passion for bringing, you know, really good golf products to the market. And so. I'm excited to review the Trilite push cart because I actually already have a push cart, but I bought it during the early parts of the pandemic. You couldn't find them anywhere. They were all sold out and it was really cheap. And so I've used it on and off for the past year. And I definitely have things I like about it, but I have a lot of gripes. And so I see a lot of things on this that I believe will, you know, resolve those gripes. And I think really make walking the course a viable option, especially uh, it's a great source of exercise. It's a great stress relief. And some days if you're out in the course after it rained or there's been some weather and it's cart path only, I personally would prefer to walk the course because I think it's honestly more of a pain to drive the golf cart, get off, walk to your ball, walk back, and just do that every hole. So a push cart is definitely a great option in several scenarios. So before we get into the review, let's uh, just take a quick moment and ask, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe, hit that like. It goes a long way to help the channel. Hit that bell to get notified. We've got new videos every Saturday at 11 a.m. Here at Bogey King Golf, we seek to inspire, to educate, do product reviews and have fun. And so we'd love for you to be a part of what's going on here and be a part of the Bogey King family. Now, one of the things I thought was cool when I opened this up was that it actually came with a carrying bag. So um, I think that is great if you're throwing it in your trunk, if you're throwing it in your car, the back of your truck and maybe you don't want to get it all dinged up you can fold it down and throw it in the bag some things that i noticed right out of the gate is the quality of the build this thing is light but it is super solid the top compartment here has got a ton of a ton of storage and if you're out on the course you know that you might want to take some snacks some gloves some extra balls and so i think there's a lot that can fit in here you have a spot for a pencil you've got some tea holders this does have an adapter they gave me for the cup holder. So if you wanted to put a uh, you know, bottle of water on here, you could do so, but that is gonna be very convenient to bring hydration. I talk about how important it is. There's a clip here. I believe this is for, it's for an umbrella attachment. So if you're out and it's raining and you wanna have an umbrella, that's great. It has a nice soft grip up here, and then it has a lot of adjustability. So you can actually loosen this up and you can bring this down and then you can you know, use it um, wherever you're comfortable height wise. And then something that I really like as well is that it has a brake. So this brake here, you just drop it down and it locks it in place. You pull it back up to move forward and it disengages. And obviously I'm in you know, the studio, but so far it really rolls nice and smooth. One of the other things that I took notice of is these, the golf bag holder, very, very uh, legit and you know, it seems like they're very robust. That's the one complaint I have on my lesser uh, golf bag, or sorry, push cart, is that the straps to hold the bag are just flimsy. They fall off. I actually resorted to throwing bungee cords on um, every round that I used it because that was the only way I could get the bag to stop moving and stop falling off as I was walking. So that's, you know, that gets really to be a pain um, in the behind. And then, uh, you know, lastly, why don't we go ahead and fold it down so you can see the size of this thing once it's once it's folded up and ready to go into your trunk. So you just want to loosen the top one here. You'll loosen this bottom uh, adapter here, and then this just folds forward. And like that, it is done, ready to go into your trunk, ready to go into the bag. So, so far, really enjoying and liking the setup. Like I said, it just has a nice feel to open it back up you just want to pull on it and i mean it is so far fairly easy to i'm actually doing it from the wrong side there actually is a little bit of a of a holder here you just clip that in lock this in lock the top in put your bag on 
and you're ready to go. So why don't we get our bag, get on the cart and get out on the course. All right, so we're out here on the course. I've got the tri-light push cart here with me. This is hole number two. Uh, as you saw in the drone footage, I hit my tee shot over here. I'm just here in front of the green, but I wanted to point out some things about the cart. So one thing I like is these wheels are nice and big. They really roll over the ground nicely. The, uh, the holders, like I mentioned, they actually grasp the bag very nicely. Um, it hasn't moved at all. As you can see over here, there's quite a bit of bumps and so I walked over that to kind of prove, it, you know, really prove it out. Um, it has a ton of storage up here, as I mentioned before. Got my phone, my sunscreen, my wallet. I have the big bag, my uh, OGO Alpha that I reviewed before in this thing. And so you can see it is, you know, it's a big bag, but it fits in the cart. And honestly, pushing it has been pretty uh, easy. All right, everyone, we're back in Bogey King Studios for the wrap up of today's video. Uh, the reason we're here is because after I shot the first two holes, I decided to take a couple of holes and just play uh, without the cameras on and just really get a feel for the push cart as I would play on a normal fun round. Um, it's a lot of work, as you can imagine, to film and to play and to think about what I want to say and what I'm looking at. And so I just wanted to take some time to gather my thoughts and give you the rundown of what I truly think about the Yamada Tri-Late push cart. Now, right out of the gate, I think the easiest thing about this is that it is super easy to push. The alignment is fantastic. Uh, I do have a Tour Trek Cruiser push cart. I mentioned that earlier in the video. And that cart, no matter how many times I've made adjustments, if I'm pushing the cart, it, it goes left or it goes right. It never goes straight. This cart, without making any adjustments out of the box, and you can adjust it if it does have some misalignment, but overall, this thing was super straight and super true which makes it very easy to push. Along that note, I do have a minor complaint that the mechanism that holds the top and allows you to adjust the top handle, uh, I wasn't able to get it to tighten to the point that there was not a lot of give. And so I think that's good and bad. Let me explain. The, the good is when you're out on the course, 
there's obviously a lot of movement when you're walking across the fairway and through the rough. And so that little bit of give creates some flex and does create some shock absorption. I actually realized there's springs behind the mounts that hold the golf bag, which is great because the golf bag didn't move at all. And so I think on the course, that flex is actually helpful. Maybe that's what the intent was. Where I think the, the negative aspect of that is, is when you're pushing it on a solid surface, I noticed that as I push down, because it is a, in, you know, it's a, the wheel doesn't move left or right, it stays straight and you have to pick the front wheel up and move it. Um, because of the flex, it just took a little bit of extra effort to move, you know, or to push it down to get that front wheel off the ground. So in a perfect world, I think that would be a little more rigid. And so, you know, you would let the spring mechanism do its job to support the bag and then give some rigidity in the handle so you could actually maneuver because not every course like, you know, our, the links here is a gravel cart path. Um, some of them are, you know, paved cart paths. And so I think that could potentially be um, a little bit of an issue, but overall not the end of the world. Again, all in all out in the course, it's super comfortable. One of the other things that's kind of related to the being easy to push is it being lightweight. This thing, even though it's more robust and bigger than say the Tour Trek Cruiser, it is so lightweight. I actually put my uh, OGO Alpha SE golf bag on there. It's actually a cart bag and I did that on purpose because I wanted to see how this would be with, you know, a lot of weight on it. And honestly, it was, it, you honestly couldn't even tell the bag had that much weight. It just pushed and rolled so easy. The brake works well. If you've used the push cart before, you know that when you're, you know, either on a hill or you're near the green, um, you know, you don't want the cart rolling off somewhere. So the brake works great. On my tour track, you have to, it's a foot brake. You just push down, pull up. It's kind of hard to get to and difficult and kind of awkward in some instances. This is just a hand lever, super easy, uh, locks it in place, easy to un unlock and it releases really quickly and so you're on your way. Now, thinking of that, when I think about the comparison, this is $289 compared to say the, the Tour Trek, that was $150. I actually think that this is worth that extra investment because of a few things. One, the size. The Tour Trek, when it folds up, even though it folds into you know a smaller, uh, form it only folds in half and so when I think about that it's still pretty large and so if you're putting it you know putting this in a small trunk putting this in the back of your truck uh, in your SUV it would take up a lot of space this thing folds up so compact given its unfolded size it's super easy to store it's super lightweight I mean you can honestly fold it grab it and go and you don't even break a sweat so I think that's a huge uh, advantage that this cart has the comfort as I mentioned the tour track when you push that um, you're gonna get left or right. You're not gonna get straight. Uh, it is the, the straps that hold the bag down constantly move and adjust. And so the bag is constantly moving. I, did, I have used bungee cords to keep the bag on that in place and it still moves around. The bag did not move, I mean, honestly at all while I was pushing this. And I went over some really rough ter or terrain just to see if I get the bag to move and it didn't. So kudos to Amada for that design. Um, very well thought out. I think that shock absorption in the place that holds the bag really goes a long way to, you know, really keep the bag where it's supposed to be without creating a bunch of stress on both the cart and the bag. Materials, I think this is a mix of plastic and aluminum and it really, uh, again, it's, you can tell it's built well. Um, this is more of a first impressions review. So I'll continue to use this over the next few weeks and months. And I'll come back and give you a long-term uh, review, whether it be here at YouTube or on my social media. If you haven't followed us out there, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on TikTok, Twitter, you know, all at Bogey King Golf. So go out there and make sure you give us a follow. And then at the end of the day, um, when I think about the Bogey King rating system, uh, I'm gonna give this a four and it's a high four. And the only reason I didn't give it a five is just because of that minor issue with the, you know, with the top part there. Now again, maybe it's me, I could adjust it a little bit tighter or maybe it's the design on purpose. But overall, I think it's worth the 289. Uh, it is, again, fantastic on the course. It's super easy to push and it really makes walking enjoyable. The other thing I forgot to mention was I love the fact there's a ton of storage. Uh, if you want to throw your water bottle on there or an adult beverage, if you want to throw your gear, you know, any kind of materials in the, in the pocket, it's just got a ton of storage. I actually think you could potentially put a jacket in there and still have some space for other things. And so, you know, that's great. So I really want to say thank you to the Amada Golf Crew for sending this out and uh, give me this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't checked out Amada Golf, I'll put the link to the website in the description below. Put the website down here. I believe it's amadagolf.com. And these guys are a small business, so go get them your support. Uh, any chance we get, 
to support a small business, I definitely want to encourage it. So I think that's great. And I love what these guys are doing and I love their approach to golf. They're just a bunch of regular golfers, just like you and me, and they're out making products to uh, better their golf game and better everyone else's golf game. So, you know, check them out, let them know, give them some love, follow them on their socials as well. But you know, at the end of the day, great product, really excited to use it some more. And as we say every week here at Bogey King Golf, you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one. So until next week, we hope you get out and play some golf. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, it goes a long way to help the channel. So until next week, everybody, have a great week and we will see you soon.